So um, what we're actually showing is a moving, moving object detection uh, in the compressed domain. So um, we want to detect um, objects in a very high resolution uh, capture. Um, but we don't want to do it in the pixel domain because the pixel domain is uh, too much bandwidth. It consists of almost 1.4 gigabyte per second, which is too much to process. So we want to do the detection after the encoding step. Um, and we use the motion vectors within the HEVC bitstream to detect um, movement in the image. So um, what we actually do is we divide our image into um, blocks with a certain size and height. We calculate uh, a scaled motion vector based on the motion vectors that our HEVC bitstream created. Um, based on that, we get a rudimental um, uh, knowledge of a foreground or a background block. So foreground would be a player moving. After that, we also do spatial and temporal filtering. Um, spatial filtering means that it's going to take into account the blocks next to it to check if there was a, a background block detected, but all the other neighbors are foreground, then probably the block we are looking at is also a foreground block. If a foreground block was detected, the temporal filtering will go and check the, uh, the previous and the consecutive frame check if it's also a foreground block, if one of the frames was also a foreground block, and then decide if it's a foreground or a background block. By using this detection and the spatial and temporal filtering, we get a pretty high precision rate on the, on the detection. Um, we did it on uh, three uh, separate uh, videos, um, being a, bas a basketball, a hockey and a soccer one. Um, the soccer one is performing less good because the, um, the objects are very small. The, the camera capture is very wide, making the objects very small, um, uh, resulting in a lot of uh, false uh, positives. Um, but after all, if we see, for example, the basketball and the hockey, we can see that a, a moving object is uh, well detected. and. Uh, our method is actually reducing a lot of computational power because we only have to consider the 4.8 megabit stream instead of the 1.4 gigabit stream. That's, uh, that's it. Panasonic.